There's that hymn in the hymnal, The Will of God is Always Best. It's an interesting hymn because it starts out with something that I think most of us Christians would find to be fairly self-obvious. God's will is good, and what he desires, what he wants, is something that we should want as well. And in fact, the things that he wants are good for us. God's will is always best, we sing. Well, here's the problem with that. Sometimes God's will isn't something that we like. It might not be something that we even want. And so we wrestle with doing God's will. Serving the neighbor sometimes demands of me sacrifice. It sometimes makes demands on me for my time or ability. It usually costs me something to help somebody else. And yet Jesus tells us that we should love our neighbor. Love him as if he was our own self. See, here's the thing about Christian living. God's will requires sacrifice. Now, when it comes to salvation, of course, that salvation is ensured by the sacrifice of Jesus, not our sacrifices. But following in his footsteps, Jesus says that we should pick up a cross and follow him to our own suffering and hardship and sacrifice. Of course, our salvation is not ensured by our sacrifices, nor do our sacrifices ensure salvation for other people. But yet living as a Christian sometimes requires us to give up things in order to do it. We might have to give up our time to serve our neighbor. We might have to give up our good reputation to continue going to church. We may even have to give up our life in certain times and places in order to keep the gospel in the forgiveness of sins. And yet, no matter what the world may throw at us, the will of God is always best. And so we as Christians cling to that will, first and foremost in the saving will of Jesus Christ, that he laid down his life to give us salvation in the forgiveness of sins, and also in his will that we should follow and do his law to the best of our ability, not for salvation, but because we are saved. And so now, as Christians who have been redeemed in Christ, we do, as the psalmist says in Psalm 119, we treat the law as a good thing. We delight in its precepts. We learn from God what he wants us to do, how he wants us to act. So we serve our neighbors. We teach the truth. We stand up against evil in all of its forms. Again, not because it saves us, but because we have been saved. We have been redeemed in Christ Jesus. And so we do all the things that he commands, out of thanksgiving and love and thankfulness for what he has done for us. After all, without the sacrifice of Christ, well, we would have nothing but wretchedness, sin, and death, and yet we don't, because we have Christ in him crucified, who is our life and salvation. So he bids us to follow him. He tells us, you redeemed sinners, those who have been brought through water in the word into my kingdom, come, do these things I have prepared for you. And so we do. After all, we are Christians. What else could we do?